most famous and dynamic trial lawyers. In fact, uh, he has a distinguished legal career. And those of you who are familiar with the uh, television show that was on for some seasons, Sam Benedict, was based uh, on a good part uh, on his career. He's written a new book called A Reasonable Doubt, in which he uh, states his definite opinions, speaks out rather boldly and provocatively on a on a whole number of subjects, from the narcotics addict to censorship to the Fifth Amendment uh, to divorce and etc. He's an extremely interesting man. Would you welcome, please, Mr. Jake Ehrlich. I always hear that. They say that on television all the time. <laughs> no, it's the Sam Benedict show, they don't. They don't say that. Why do they always say it in those other series? Counselor all the time. Well, do yeah, lawyers I... talk to each other that way? No. no. <laughs> you ought to hear lawyers talk to each other. <laughs> <laughs> this is a most fascinating book. As I mentioned to you briefly in the in little time we had to say hello before the program, uh, I get probably... 30 or 40 books a month from people who appear on the show, and most of them you don't have a chance to, to really look through. You look some of the highlights. And I sat up the last two nights with this book and uh, called A Reasonable Doubt and got so fascinated. I guess the lay people who don't know much about the workings of the law, this, this is all fascinating. I'm glad what you, you like it, What you do. Most interesting. One statement you had in here, it says, when you, when you um, are defending somebody, you say the first thing that you tell them is never... Plead guilty. Never plead guilty. Every man's entitled to a trial. He's presumed to be innocent until the contrary is proved to a moral certainty beyond a reasonable doubt. And that's his right under the law, and he ought to avail himself of that right. So never... Never plead never guilty. Never plead guilty. I, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. What is your name? What is your name? I refuse to answer. No. <laughs> uh, my name is uh, Johnny Carson. Uh, how do you know that to uh, be your name? Well, it's uh, on a birth certificate, legally That's recorded. That's hearsay. That's hearsay? Well, of course. Well, I mean, if it's legally recorded... That's still hearsay. Suppose uh, you were born, and I must assume that you were born because you're here tonight with us. Uh, uh, there's a certificate made out not by you, a certificate made out by somebody else. That a boy child was born to Mr. and Mrs. Carson, and that he was named Johnny. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that you know that to be the fact. That means you have read that to be the fact. Okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. In other words, I only have to go by what is, is recorded. So you're pleading guilty to something that you don't know of your own knowledge. <laughs> In other words, I should have said, I, uh, if somebody asked me who I am, I'd say I plead not guilty. Right no. on. <laughs> he doesn't go quite no, that, that, well. not that Plead far. not guilty. I see what you mean. That is hearsay. I'm, I'm hearsay. only accepting what somebody you're, has what said. somebody else has said. Certainly. But that would be legal. I mean, if you come in with a birth certificate, that proves you're more. Well, it's birth certificates are legal until they're attacked and proved to be invalid. That has happened, too. I get such a kick out, I think, about the second chapter of the book on New... <laughs> 